Nearly 400 of you guys have watched and liked my past video talking about what does an SDR in software sales actually do? Some of you guys have been asking, hey Trent, I know you promoted to an account executive recently. Can you talk about what does an account executive in software sales actually do? That is what we're gonna talk about in today's video, guys. Um, for about 26 months straight as an SDR, I, I had really heavy call volume. I would make cold calls, I would send emails, I would find more people to call and then I'd be begging my account executives to accept my ops. That was pretty much my life existence for the last two years. Um, becoming an account executive just at a high level, guys, and then we'll do a deep dive and do it. I know you guys like that if you're in software sales. Um, but what I've found, guys, is that my output volume has decreased and I've spent a lot of that time working more strategically and working on deal strategy. As an account executive, you're responsible for closing revenue, getting other companies agree to spend money with your company on your SaaS product. That is the whole job, guys, and I found my North Stars asking myself, how does this activity, how is it getting me closer to close revenue? If it's not, then I need to stop doing it. If it does, I need to keep doing it and double down. That's really at a high level what an account executive does. I'm now gonna boil down to what my days look like and some of the tasks that are a bit different than an SDR and just what you need to know and what you need to expect becoming an account executive. Um, give, give me about three minutes to explain this, guys. If you gotta make some cold calls, I get it, but I think this may help with your cold calls. If you're gonna stick with me, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've been on an absolute grind recently, putting out videos on sales and all things success daily. I'm gonna continue doing that for the near future as long as I can, guys. Really, really love helping you guys. My goal is to help you identify what success looks like in your own life and help you get there sooner rather than later. So we're gonna do that today and continue to build on that, guys. What does an account executive in software sales do? This answer is quite robust. I know you guys like that as well, um, but I'm gonna boil it down to you guys it, it just at a, at a high level, and then we're gonna dive down and look at it from a couple different perspectives. The first thing I would think about, guys, is that you have most likely, regardless of the company, you have a base pay, and then you have a variable pay. So no matter how you perform, you're gonna get paid a base, and then based on your performance, you're gonna get paid a variable commission. So the better you perform, the more you get paid. That's why we're in sales, high risk, high reward. Something I would think about, guys, in regards to the value you contribute to your given firm, think about how much you're paid on an annual basis. Compare that relative to the expected income you hope to see. You can start to quantify what is your value you're bringing to the organization. And if you're constantly missing and you're getting paid more than you're contributing, which most likely isn't the case, um, that's something to reevaluate, guys, because you don't wanna just be a bottom feeder and someone who, who is, has their hands up and, and needs help. You wanna be an active contributor. You wanna add value to the firm. You wanna grow revenues by selling deals, and that's really what it's all about. As an account executive, most likely you're gonna have a quarterly quota. Um, right now, I'm in my first qu uh, quarter as an account executive. I'm still ramping. My quota is $7,200. Um, in sales and, and I'm trending pretty nicely on that in Q4, get your fours up. But you're gonna have a quarterly quota, it's gonna progressively ramp and, and in order to promote, you gotta continue to, to go out and exceed your number. So what does an account executive in software sales actually do? I would boil it down, guys, to three areas. I wrote it down here. Um, creativity, problem solving, and time management. So as an SDR, guys, you don't need to be, you can be creative in some of your tactics, but it boils down to just output. If you're a volume player, even if you're not very good on the phone or you don't send great emails, you can do 100 a day and most likely you're gonna set a lot of meetings over time. As an account executive, you have a finite amount of accounts. So depending on what market segment you work in or, or whatever you do, you may have anywhere from 50 to 1,000 a, a accounts. Accounts are companies and these are companies that you have the designation to go close business and that is your book of business your book of business entirely, and it is up to you to find the appropriate buyers of your product, set up meetings with them, build value, talk about how you're gonna solve their problems, and then name your price, and then you're gonna sell deals. That's a lot easier said than done. Um, but the biggest thing, guys, with that is creativity. You need to be a lot more creative as an account executive. Um, in regards to meeting with customers, trying to find meetings, you need to think of creative ways to get meetings and creative ways to build value. One thing I've found, guys, is that 
when, every time you reach out to a customer, try and add value to that touch point. So I set Friday as my day. Uh, of the biggest deals I'm working, I'll just send a quick email to my champion, the person I've been working closely with internally at that organization. Just send them an email with an article or a resource and say, hey, I read this, mor- this, I read this article this morning. I thought of you in our conversations. I thought you would get some value out of it. Have a great weekend. I'm not asking for anything. I'm not trying to sell them, but I'm trying to get creative with adding value and building trust. Next, guys, problem solving. You'll be working deals, and I've already encountered this a lot, is things will come up that are unforeseen that you're not gonna know the answers to. People are gonna ask you questions you don't know. Make sure to say, hey, I'm gonna, I don't know the answer to that. I'm gonna find it and get back to you. Um, as I say that, I'm like, okay, what follow-ups am I messing with my own customers? But you're gonna be working deals, guys. You're gonna think you're at the finish line, and then legal is gonna come in and say, no, 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 we gotta take a look at this. Or um, you think that the other person's gonna sign the deal, next thing they say, hey, my IT team needs to review this. There's gonna be so many unforeseen things, guys, that you need to solve problems and put out fires. Um, and that's a big part of sales, guys, is being able to mitigate risk and improve your probability of working deals throughout the process. Finally, guys, time management. As an SDR, you set call blocks, you do your emails, you can do whatever you want. You have a lot of free time, to be quite honest. As an account executive, you still have free time, but you need to make the most of your time. Um, Typically, when I come in, guys, um, I have a team meeting to start my day, and this, this is what my day looks like. I have a team meeting to start my day. As soon as I do that, I'll look at my calendar and say, what meetings do I have today? How can I prepare? How can I be proactive? Do I need to send follow-ups, et cetera, et cetera? I'll then start making some cold calls. This is a big point, guys. Just because you become an account executive, just because you have SDRs working for you or whatever, if you're a true hunter and you know how to go find net new business and set up meetings and really hunt, that will serve you well, and you need to continue doing that, and that's what di- will, will differentiate you because a lot of people, believe it or not, think that they're above prospecting or they don't have time for it or they don't want to do it or they don't need to do it. Quite frankly, that's wrong. You need to always be prospecting, so I always start the day with some cold calls. From there, guys, um, I most likely am either getting into some customer meetings or it's around lunchtime. I eat the same thing every day. This is a breakfast. This is a life hack I've found. Um, I make oatmeal, guys, about a half cup, I put in granola, flaxseed, fresh blueberry, raspberry, um, and then blackberry, and and a banana. It's fantastic, guys. It's healthy, it tastes good, and it gets you going. I'll eat that, and I'm really ready to go at that point. Most likely, I'll have an internal meeting uh, around that, that midday time, whether it's with my manager, coaching, talking with another colleague, a team, whatever. And then from there, I'll either do some more prospecting, go out and find people to call, go on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, go on Zoom Info, find people to call and start calling and emailing them. And then when I get to the mid-afternoon, guys, that's typically when I book a lot of my meetings between 1 p.m. local time to 3 p.m. I think that's a great time for show rates to do it then. Um, I'll do meetings all afternoon, and then I'll try and finish the day with some cold calls, or I'll start doing my follow-ups. Things are subject to change, guys, and that, that plays in the time management piece. SDRs, inbound or outbound, can almost dictate your calendar. At a moment's notice, they can set a meeting and you'll have to take it. So you need to be flexible, be disciplined with making the most of your free time blocks in order to be most effective. The final point, guys, I'll share what has been the hardest part for me transitioning from an SDR to an account executive is um, internal processes. I'm super slow and inefficient. So for example, building quotes, sending out contracts, looping in the appropriate resources from our ecosystem. I'm slow at that. That's what I'm working on. So if you have time trying to figure out what that looks like at your company and build on those skills. And then also working on deals, guys. Um, I'm still trying to get great at discovery, doing demos, and just the natural flow and sequential nature of a deal cycle. It's, it's different for every industry, it's different for every company, and the better and more efficient you can get at that, the better your days are gonna be structured and the better position you'll be in to be closing business. Um, so those are the two points I've struggled with. The final thing, guys, is just, you gotta ask yourself, how is this activity getting me closer to revenue? And you gotta do whatever it takes to get there. You gotta get another company to agree to spend 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, a million, whatever it is, your average deal size, you need to be selling those deals to other companies and bring in revenue for your company. That is the role of an account executive. You're an individual contributor. So whatever it takes to get there, that's what you gotta do. Um, I hope this video was helpful. That's typically how I spend my day and what I perceive an account executive does. Of course, you need to find time for self-development, networking, um, making YouTube videos or doing your side hustle, whatever that is, working out, eating right. 
Um, it, it's all that, and it, it all plays together. Your personal life, what's going on is going to impact your, your calls and, and your mindset going into the, the, the personal professional life. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I, I'm happy to make a video on anything you guys want or answer any questions you may have. Um, if you're still with me, make sure to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe below. It really helps. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.